Hey everybody, Jeff Mays here. You know, I've been going through so, sort of a weird time right now, and I wanted to just talk about it for a minute because, who knows, maybe one of you is going through the same sort of thing. You know, about three weeks ago, I found out that I had COVID, a little over three weeks ago now, and I really, the, the whole idea really hit me hard because I had been vaccinated. I had stayed well all through everything for 18 months. I had taken precautions. I had done everything that I was supposed to. But I fell into this gap of everything was okay in my mind. And I went out with a friend and we went out and went some places. And when we did that, obviously I was exposed. And when I came back, the guilt, when I found out that I had this, was really big. You know, I, I let everybody know that I'd been around that this had happened. And fortunately, no one got sick. But that guilt would have been so bad had I have gotten someone else ill, I, I'm not sure what I would have done. But I found out that my mind was really playing some tricks on me when I had the vaccine. You know, I thought everything would be okay. I thought all was good. And I just started going out and doing things. And, you know, maybe not wearing a mask, maybe not doing other things. But what I found out was obviously that there was a difference and it wasn't so good. And, you know, this new variant is, is rough. Well, fortunately, because of that, I, uh, I w didn't get all that sick. But I did go through a few days where I was ill. And it wasn't fun. I mean, let's face it, anytime you feel bad and your head is throbbing and, you know, all those things that happen to you when you're sick, it's not good. But it was more like a bad flu than it was what a lot of people might have gone through. And I'm fortunate for that. But what I want to talk about is what it did to my mind and what it did to my mindset. That guilt that I had from doing what I did was driving me into, I, I won't say depression, but it was starting to get there. My anxiety was way up. My fear was way up. And because of that, I spent you know several days, 10 days, in isolation, and I found that my mind was playing all kinds of tricks on me. And I really found out how important it is for all of us to do a better job at controlling our mind. You know, I was going through things in my mind that just weren't real, and they seemed real. And it was, you know, I won't say that I'm crazy, but it was almost like I was. I think because of that, I really have a new respect for the disease, but I also have a new respect for controlling and working with our mind. You know, if you've gone through something, whether it's uh, the virus or something else, where your mind has played tricks on you and all of a sudden you start to think that things are all right that shouldn't be all right, or that things are not ever gonna be better, I think it's time that you grab hold of your mind and take control. I know I've had to physically and mentally work at that this last couple of weeks. Because really what happens is you fall into this tailspin and the tailspin is not good. So it's really important that if you've had something like this happen and you're finding yourself doing things differently, you find yourself getting anxious or depressed or have a lot of anxiety, it's time to really take control and to understand that you can control it. To understand that you're able to put new inputs into your mind that will help you to get through anything. You know, I always go back to certain things that have helped me in the past and I continue to do that this time. But if you don't have something to help you, I think it'd be a great time to, you know, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you about it. But Think and Grow Rich is one of those go-to books that I always read. Um, there's programs with Bob Proctor that I always go back to. They're the ones I teach too. So it's, it's 
good because I reinforce things. But every day when I listen and read and, and write and really start to change my mind, I'm able to get better. And, you know, today probably is the first day I woke up and I felt really positive. Normally I wake up, I jump out of bed, I'm ready to go, I'm positive. But for the last three and a half weeks, I haven't done that. It's been hard to get out of bed. And I think that it's really important that if you're going through a rough time, one, you seek some help, but two, you take action because you can change it. You can make it happen for you, and it's really important for you to do it. So I guess, you know, my heartfelt thoughts to you about if you're sick or if you know somebody that's sick to help them get some, not just physical help from a doctor, but to also start to help them reprogram their mind. This thing is, is weird. It does strange things to you. I don't understand it. I'm not going to try to. But what I do understand is that you can take control. You can do the things you want to do, but it takes work. It takes programming or reprogramming your paradigms, and it takes effort. It's not just going to happen. You're not just going to fall into something normal or fall back into something that you used to have. It's going to take some effort. So as you go through this time and you need some help or you want to talk about it, I'm here for you. But just remember, what you're going through is what I will call normal. But what you want to get back to is the next normal. So I hope this finds you well. And I hope that if you know somebody that's going through a rough time, please, you know, like and share this video and send it out to them so that they can get the word. And I'm here for you or for them. My name's Jeff Mays. I'm your success coach. And I wish you the best.